What's going on boys and girls, Vex here, bringing you a commentary of Black Ops 3 on Nuketown, and I am using the 205 Brecky, which is your standard overpowered shotgun. Um, not really going to talk about the gameplay too much, you can see what I'm running, uh, specialist purifier as always. Uh, lightning Strike, Wraith, and Wraps are my streaks, and as you can tell, I've ranked up quite a bit. <laughs> since uh, my last video and I apologize for the lack of videos recently I've been pretty busy lately and just haven't felt up to making videos but now I've got a little bit more time on my hands and I'm feeling a lot better so uh, that's going to lead us into the first thing I want to talk about today which is the new year uh, coming we're about 45 minutes here in uh, North America away from that time at the recording of this video and yeah, uh, 2015 was a pretty good year. Um, can't really complain too much, but uh, I'm hoping that 2016 is going to be the year that I kind of take this channel to the next level. And the same with my Twitch. If you didn't know, I do stream on Twitch, and I'm trying to get on a consistent schedule, or at least semi-consistent. I might not stream at the uh, same time every day, but at least try and stream maybe about three to five times a week periodically but really there's no reason for me to stream basically every time I play so uh, definitely gonna be streaming a lot more consistently and obviously uploading videos to YouTube more consistently and this has been a passion of mine for quite a while so I'm just going to try and uh, suck it up if you will make no excuses and just try and put up put out the content that uh, I've been wanting to do for quite a while so um, 2016 is definitely the year that I'm going to be doing that, so stay tuned for more, and if you're new here, I recommend you check out some of my other videos, and I will be adding more uh, in the future. So, um, if you did not know, I do stream on Twitch, and I will put an annotation uh, in the video for that if you'd like to check that out, and a link in the description. Um, so I'm trying to slowly build my audience a little bit, get some people to check out some of my videos, but obviously to do that you have to have a little bit more content, so uh, I'm planning on trying to put up a consistent amount of videos as well on YouTube, so I'll probably be putting up maybe some stream highlights and different gameplay commentaries such as this one, so stay tuned for more, and I'd appreciate if anyone would like to subscribe if you are new here and checking this video out for the first time. If you'd like to leave a like rating or a comment below, I'd greatly appreciate that, so please don't hesitate to do so. So going back to what I mentioned previously, uh, I've, as you can probably tell later on in this video, you'll see that I rank up to level 55 of Prestige 10. So uh, I've been playing quite a bit of Black Ops 3. Um, I probably would have been Prestige Master. Well, I'm Prestige Master right now. I think level 61 or 62, something like that. I would have been there much faster, but uh, when the game for, had first came out, I was playing so much more of zombies and multiplayer for some reason. I, just, I guess I was just enjoying it much more. And now it's the opposite, where I've just been playing a ton of multiplayer. And I think really, uh, coming back to it, one thing I've always loved in Call of Duty is the ranking system and just leveling up guns and unlocking challenges has always been a lot of fun for me so uh, I went ahead and you can notice too the uh, camo I'm using is Dark Matter which took forever to get it felt like but really it was only probably about 100 or so hours of playing but really the most annoying part was the headshots I think and some of some other challenges were like really annoying at times but um, got that done and it feels pretty good. I mean, I love using Dark Matter. I've only been using it since I got it unlocked uh, not too long ago. And it's it's an amazing camo. I loved it. I love that they uh, fixed the uh, original look of the gun and made it more kind of interactive, I guess. And it looks really, really sick. And I use it on pretty much every gun that I have right now. And uh, as you can see too on my uh, Fire Break character, he has the hero armor, so um, I don't have hero. I have hero armor unlocked, but I don't have it on all the specialists because I I don't really care for a lot of them. But uh, some of the challenges I got to tell you are so annoying. I'm sure a lot of you guys have done it, and it is <laughs> really frustrating to say the least. Um, some of them like 
glitch double kills I know a lot of people were struggling with. Uh, that one wasn't too bad for me, but I think the worst of them all was probably the rejack double kills because uh, they recently buffed rejack, but it's still crap in my opinion. But it used to take like it felt like forever to stand up, and people would just wait for you once you go down and just instantly shoot you. So, I mean, there's not really much you can do. So, to kill two people with that requires an insane amount of luck. So, uh, glad I got that one done. And a lot of these other challenges are just a pain, and there's still some to do. Uh, some of the hero challenges are pretty difficult. So, I've only unlocked three of the specialist full gear, which is Firebreak. Uh, Ruin and Spectre and they're pretty sick. I mean if you haven't seen them before it's shiny gold so they're really nice but it definitely takes a lot of work to get them but I think it's definitely worth it. Uh, same with Dark Matter. So the new year is just around the corner. We are so close to 2016 and uh, hopefully that means uh, we are headed for some new changes. I hope in Black Ops 3 that uh, a lot of guns <laughs> really need some tweaking uh, a lot of other stuff too I mean if this video was about three hours long maybe I'd be able to cover a lot of that but uh, since it is only about 10 minutes uh, I'll just cover a few things first of all if you look at this shotgun I'm using it has absurd range and it's pretty annoying <laughs> I mean it's a lot of fun for me to use obviously but everyone else is running around with shotguns like this it's, it's kind of annoying they need to tweak that a little bit um, PC uh, controllers are pretty damn annoying. <laughs> uh, the aim assist is absurd. Um, you could you could really tell when somebody's doing or using a controller because they just have some absurd aim sometimes, and you can kind of see their movement. It's kind of retarded, but uh, it's kind of annoying. You've got the dragon, as you saw me die to earlier in this video, that just spams spams like crazy does way too much damage can one shot you if it's to the head I think that definitely needs to be tweaked quite a bit and I'm kind of surprised they haven't changed that yet um, there's so much in the PC version of this game that needs to be tweaked and if you look at the optimization as well it's not what it was in Black Ops 2 and it's kind of sad that Black Ops 2 to Black Ops 3 is not the huge transition in graphics where it's like incredible like even Advanced Warfare, uh, which I didn't really like, it ran perfectly smooth on my computer. And Black Ops 2, you know, ran perfect. This game, I mean, even for people who have great PCs, much, much better than mine, they're still having frame drops, they're still having a lot of graphical issues and crap. And uh, other stuff too, like the connections, is just really frustrating for me. It's like, I've had a ton of games where we're completely destroying the enemy, I've got a great score, whatever's going on, and connection interrupted, kicked from the game, and you even see everyone who was in that lobby just sitting there in an empty lobby and like nothing, I don't think anything counts, like your kills, your uh, streaks, anything you unlock doesn't count, so it's kind of stupid and really needs to be fixed, and I don't think it'd be too hard to fix that. Uh, kind of leads me to wonder, are we ever going to get dedicated servers? reminiscing back to the days of Ghost where they promised we were going to get dedicated servers and we are still here in 2016 just about waiting for dedicated servers. So I don't know if that's ever going to happen but we'll see but uh, there's definitely a lot more changes to weapons that need to be made. Um, hopefully that is fixed recently but I think uh, Traker's done a decent job so far. I'm not going to say they did a good job but a decent job so far with balancing the game out to some extent where they've fixed some things but really they've just done horrible on others where they've just completely left issues alone that many people have been letting them know on Twitter and YouTube and all that stuff for quite a while now so I think it's just uh, kind of laziness on their part and they really should go ahead and fix that and make the game uh, enjoyable so it can live up to its full potential and really just be enjoyed for a great game because this game definitely has a lot of potential to be a great game and I've been playing it so much even though you know there's tons of flaws in it and just a lot of issues um, I still really enjoy it so uh, how much more so would I enjoy it if they actually did fix some of these issues that are pretty simple.
So hopefully Treyarch will fix a lot of these issues that are on PC and console as well in 2016. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. And the next DLC, the first DLC for Black Ops 3, uh, looks really interesting. Really like the zombies map. Really like the four maps so far that they put out. So I'm uh, feeling optimistic about it. You know, no, not having my uh, hopes up too high, but I still think there's a lot of potential for this game. So uh, hopefully Treyarch will capitalize on that. And that just about brings this commentary to an end. Uh, if you enjoyed, let me know in the comments below. And the final score is 87 and 15. And take care, guys. Have a great and happy, safe New Year.